total corneal power, or TCP as we call it for short, has become such an important part of my cataract practice. And by the way, I'm a glaucoma specialist, but glaucoma surgeons are using cataract surgery quite a bit more as a therapeutic maneuver for glaucoma, particularly with the advent of MIGS. So it's a very important part of my practice, and TCP has just been a godsend for people that have prior refractive surgery. That is, using TCP, looking at the corneal architecture after refractive surgery, it's given me an excellent way to accurately predict intraocular lens implant power. Keratometry really loses its predictability after laser refractive surgery because you're extrapolating the power of the posterior cornea from the anterior cornea. And of course, after refractive surgery, you can no longer do that. So with the TCP module, I'm able to accurately predict post-refractive, post-cataract surgery, refractive error in a very, very sensitive fashion. That goes for both post-hyperopic as well as post-myopic refractive procedures. And there's literature, published literature, to support my anecdotal experience. I don't use TCP in isolation, though. What I do is I use TCP combined with the ASCRS online calculator. And of course, if I have pre-refractive surgery information, I'll combine those data points to help give myself the best chance at post-cataract surgery refractive success. So again, in conclusion, TCP has been an incredibly important, accurate, and predictable way to have the post cataract surgical refractive outcomes that I'm looking for in my patients.